Ah, oh, midsummer. Oh, hello, hello. So lovely to see your faces. And one thing I'd like you to do is to look around and go from one page to the other and see if there's somebody you don't know. And just go ahead and do a little exchanging of, oh, hello, welcome, and welcoming yourself. And just looking at, like, oh, do I know? I don't know you. I'd like to know you. Like to see, yeah, yeah. And you can do a little Zoom wave. <laughs> play with a little zoom wave and while you're doing that I wanted to share with you that a couple of thoughts that came up to me as I was preparing for today I always wait to see what bubbles up and one was that presence is the combination of attention and intention and Full presence really carries your intention out into the world and then back to you. So I'd like you, as we're beginning today, to tune into or create what is your intention, your basic intention in the world. It's kind of close to what is your purpose. So for Gay and me, our purpose for a very long time has been to expand our capacity every day to give and receive more love. And I can express that in less than one out breath. And then it gives me a, a frame, uh, a context for how I'm using my attention. So your intention might be to fill up your reservoir that's been getting very depleted. And that's just good to know, what is my intention? So when you combine your intention with your attention, you're like both unkinking the hose and also opening the nozzle so that you can really experience the flow of aliveness. So the big purpose is for us, all of us, to feel as alive as possible and be circulating aliveness and be an inspiration for aliveness. So the other thing that was occurring to me today was that we're so surrounded by fear right now that I want to recommend that you just liberally put fear melters and weave fear melters throughout your day. And so I wanted to do just a little bit of fear melters. And for those of you who are able to stand, I'd like you to just let yourself expand into your intention. Ah, and you're totally welcome to use ours. It's, a, it's a free <laughs> to give and receive more love, give and receive. So that's a little bit of a love scoop. So to give and receive more love every day. So I'd like you to let yourself practice your fear melters. I always like to start with these are oozing or wiggling because I assume I'm going to be kind of frozen into the core of me. So I also like to combine them. So you could do an oozy wiggle. You could do a wiggly ooze, and then you can add in a full or a mini sumo to that. You could ooze in between your fear melters, so you can be oozing on top of a sumo. You can be wiggling on top of a sumo. You could be wiggling your feet and feeling bouncing. And then as we add in love scoops, there's a particular thing that I'd like to have you add to Love Scoop. So you can continue standing if you like, or you could come and sit. But I'd like you to imagine that your feet are in your kiddie pool. And the kiddie pool that you always wanted as a kid and didn't have, or the kiddie pool that maybe that you've seen somewhere, and you're thinking, oh, I want one of those for me. And I'd like you to let yourself be thinking of things in your life that really when you think of them or you experience them, you feel loved. 
And I'd like you to add those to your pool, you know, just like you're collecting the toys and you're putting them in the pool so they'll all be there. I'd like you to collect, like I'm collecting, when Gay goes by, he pats me. He often will pat me and I feel so loved. So I'm gonna add Gay's pats into my pool. And the way that my cat Greta, when I come by, she throws her head back so that I can pet her chin. And her experience of just pure love, I'm gonna add that into my pool. So throughout our practice today, I'd like you to keep adding things into your pool so that when you, when we're scooping love, I'd like you to have that be your reservoir that you're scooping love up from. And today, I'd like to not only do love scoops, I'd like to do love waves. In our seminars, back when we were doing in-person seminars, we would often scoop up love and then send that out to someone or some thing in the world. And so as we're practicing today of shifting our attention and love scoops, I'd like you to first be filling your own pool and you can fill it with memories also of things that you've done or experiences that you've had where you had the felt experience of being loved. That would be so wonderful. And while we're doing all of this, I wanted to let you know that after we finish, Nancy Stubbs, who is right here going like this, um, is going to be available for a Q&A about our online courses, which I really appreciate you making yourself available. And she has a very cool visuals to share with you. So after I leave it at uh, 9.15 or so, Michelle and Nancy will be here with you to continue exploring. And you're welcome to continue your love scoops and your loop of awareness throughout that. I love to do this because it really sets up a blueprint for me for the day and for the week. So if you are feeling that love, I'd like you to let the intention of expanding love or your own intention, I'd like you to let that, send that out into the world. First, let's just start close by. So anything that you're aware of around you that looks like or that you intuit could use a little love. And just go ahead and send that out and let it land. Ah, oh. and then I like to just pause for a moment and take a couple of breaths and maybe do some other fear melters. Ah, oh. and then something that you've seen out there that really adds to your sense of presence, I'd like you to then bring that back to you and let it land on your body or or let it land in your love pool. Mm, and then simply letting your attention be your attention, your both your visual attention, your presence, your sense of feeling present, hearing, sensing into. I'd like you to focus on you. Hello, hello me. And notice where in your body is saying hello back, like, hello, you're here at last. Or hello, or they might be a little shy. Like sometimes one of my cats says, you have to pursue me a little bit before I will give you my attention. So just noticing any place in you that wants your attention. And then as you're kind of fanning your attention out into the world. Notice anything that's calling to your attention, that's calling for, I'd like a little bit more presence. Oh, it was really cool as I just looked out here and I, I was giving my attention 
all of the trees started to wave a little bit. So they're kind of waving back at me. So you can notice that even things that you think don't have consciousness probably do. And letting that flow and weave between you. And then anytime that you feel like I'd like a little bit more juice, just reach down into your love pool and bring up something. Or you can consider yourself like a wick, like your feet are a wick in your love pool and the love is moving up through you and saturating you with love and presence and then as you make any kind of movement out into the world, your love ripples and comes with you. So the more you circulate, the more you have, which I think is just so lovely, so wonderful that love is not limited. So a lot of us learned that love was conditional and limited and we better not use it all up because there's a limited quantity. And what loop of awareness and love scoops can really give you the experience of is unlimited love. And that the more you let through you, the more you have. So I also would like you to notice the balance between giving your love and receiving love. And I'm guessing if you're anything like the people I know, you probably have given more than you've received. So I'd like you to just notice, am I willing to receive fully? Am I willing to let it land? And just notice if there's any place in you that's been having a little difficulty or resistance to letting love land, and I'd like you to take a little fear melter through that place. For me, it's often in my low back, which has always been very, you know, I gotcha. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And it can get pretty solid. So any place in you that feels solid or feels depleted as you're letting love circulate, letting it move out, Pause a little bit more on the receiving. Hmm. Let fear melters move that through you. Let your breath help it expand out to the edges of you. Hmm. And let yourself add, I'm finding a hmm really adding to my experience. So notice if a hmm wants to come or there's sound for you, or there may be sounds that you wanna add into your love pool, like there's particular music that you, when you hear it, you really feel love, you can add that to your pool. And I'd like you to also imagine that your love pool is portable, that you can carry your love pool around with you. Like if you're seated in your car, you can just put your feet down into your love pool as you're driving around or you're standing in line with your six foot physical distance, you can be, oh, you can let your love pool be your six foot distant. You're standing there in your love pool, feeling that circulating. Ah, so sound and using your body feeling and movement and breath, those are all ways to circulate love and love scoops. Ah, <sighs> So letting yourself also just take a moment to let everything get a little bit more leisurely. So fear makes us speed up. Adrenaline makes us speed up past any kind of noticing. So let yourself just get a little bit leisurely, taking your fear melters or your love scoops, just a little bit more leisurely, letting them land, feeling that. Ah. Ah. And then notice if there's any little thing that wants to come up through you. <laughs> you know, sound or movement and 
wants to come up through you, your own little fireworks, boom, rippling out, fountaining out, and then fountaining back into you. Ah, and then just take a moment here, letting yourself notice and appreciate any more aliveness, any more flow of direct aliveness that you generated through the practice today. And see if you'd be willing to let yourself remember that, forget it, and then remember again and come back into that flow so that any time during the week you can re-experience that flow of giving and receiving love, which to me is the point. It's the point of all of this. All right, super. Well, mm, thank you so much. That was so delicious. And I'm going to, I'm going to leave you now and I planned to come back next week. Thank you.